Alright guys, so great news for everybody who has leveled up the Captain Caviar Magic Candy as well as who have pulled for Rebel Cookie uh, in order to be used for the Guild Boss Battle because Pom Pom Lin has actually shared a one-shot comp using both of those cookies with the revised uh, T Knight comp. So this is going to be again uh, shared by Pom Pom Lin. I'll put the original video link down in the description below uh, but it's been working out really really well and um, I will have to say the topping build is relatively easy uh, for a lot of the players most likely to follow. There are other variations as well and I will look at those uh, but this one's the one that caught my eyes and uh, it was also using Captain Caviar for those who have actually built Captain Caviar's alongside Finn and Sears. Uh, so let's go over it. Uh, first of all, I do want to let you guys know my Rebel Cookie is a zero star promotion right now and it's still working out well. And uh, Captain Caviar is also at plus 10 magic candy and I do recommend at least plus 10. Pom Pom Lin did have at least plus 20, uh, but I think for a lot of you guys, you know, just starting off uh, plus 10 is most likely going to be enough. And then I would recommend at least plus 10 uh, for Black Pearl Magic uh, Crystal Jam, not Magic Candy. Uh, plus 20 definitely helps out just because you do get that extra damage resist bypass and the other buffs that Black Pearl is going to have. So here we go, guys. Let's look over the topping real quick. And first of all, it's going to be T Knight with 5 of the Solid Almond. Uh, we are focusing on the damage resist as well as that attack speed. Uh, and then if you get, get extra attack and crit, uh, that also definitely does help out. And I do have my uh, Magic Candy level at uh, plus 30 because, you know, T Knight has been used inside of one shot combs for a very long time until uh you know until like you know different comps started coming out but uh you know t9 is back and the next one is gonna be our rebel cookie so uh pom pom lin recommends at least 10.3 percent cooldown uh i believe that is in order for you to have a three second start uh for the skill all right and that is in order for you to use the skill uh quickly and then uh you know put that defense reduction and then uh put that we uh the kind of like weakness debuff onto the enemies as well and you're able to dodge uh while using the skill so that's the reason why we're using this and uh you know we don't need damage resist so just focus on that cooldown 10.3 percent if you can't get this then i would recommend two swift chocolate and three saiyan raspberry uh but uh, for a lot of you guys especially because you don't need to focus on the damage resist you probably could uh get this thing going and uh, attack and crit definitely helps out and then next one is going to be field jellyfish five of the saiyan raspberry Raspberry, just like before, uh, focusing on attack, crit, and uh, some attack speed if possible. Uh, you know, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, definitely the attack and crit. Uh, Frill Jellyfish uh, will definitely, uh, you know, die off uh, here and there, and then, uh, you know, just heal your teammates uh, when she is dead. And the next one is going to be our Captain Caviar. Captain Caviar is using the old build as well. We are five of the Searing Raspberry, attack and crit. Uh, attack speed definitely helps out. Um, I don't have it right now, but it definitely helps out in order for you to uh, use the, the skill and uh, for the torpedoes uh, to fly out a lot faster. One important thing is that, uh, you know, you need Captain Caviar to die. And that's the reason why, uh, you know, these two are actually definitely beneficial. Uh, and you don't need any damages on them because one, Rebel, uh, you know, dodges as well as Frill Jellyfish kind of dodges uh, as well as Frill Jellyfish. Uh, she's able to gain extra damages as when she uses her skill. While Captain Caviar, you want to die and then throw out those torpedoes again. All right, and the next one is gonna be Black Pearl, five of the Syrian Raspberry, uh, focusing on the attack as well as uh, some attack speed crit uh, as well here, and then damage resist as well because you know Black Pearl is the last one going and uh, you do want her to survive all right and not die off before she's able to use the skill all right and then uh the whistle all right the treasures the whistle is being applied to both black pearl as well as captain caviar uh so that's why you want to have the zero percent uh damage resist on captain caviar because you do gain uh this damage resist 20 percent uh so you want that uh to be applied to captain caviar while he still is able to die all right and then uh we do have the vial because the vial is going to help out with the feather revive and then uh you're able to gain a 60 percent attack as well as 50 percent crit resist all right uh so here we go guys let's go into the arena here definitely a very strong team and uh let me show you guys this team in action all right guys first team here uh against the double tank double dps here we go and here we go guys this one is gonna be the uh fettuccine burn cheese and then you can see right here our captain caviar is not the one to die this time around so that kind of messes up a lot of different things here but we did get rid of the fettuccine uh thankfully 
All right, hopefully uh, we are able to still uh, win this. But yeah, definitely not the best uh, scenario right there because you definitely want Captain Caviar to revive twice and then you want Captain Caviar uh, to send out th those torpedoes uh, twice, all right? Thankfully, our T-Knight was able to win, uh, but that was a little bit of a risky one, all right? Uh, definitely don't want Black Pearl to die first, all right? But there you guys go, T-Knight cleaning it up, and then Captain Caviar also doing a lot of damage here. Uh, so definitely, I would say attack speed helps out, and then allowing Black Pearl uh, to survive. Sometimes, you know, the uh, taunt as well as the, uh, the debuff immunity uh, kind of prevents you from actually, uh, you know, casting your spells uh, in time because Golden Cheese might just one-shot your team or your some of your team. All right, guys, so here we go. This one is going to be a single tank comp right over here. So let's go. All right, here we go. So for a Jellyfish going to use skill and then our Rebel, Captain Caviar, the Black Pearl is going to dodge. So right here, our Captain Caviar is going to take the uh, Golden Cheese hit. Boom, done. Uh, first kind of skill rotation right there uh, and that is kind of like the perfect scenario that you want to see. Uh, you see the Frill Jellyfish use skill, go down, get the damage resist, um, and then you re use Rebel, uh, Rebel dodges, Black Pearl also dives in, Captain Caviar is the only one remaining and then takes the hit from the Golden Cheese and dies off, revives, sends the torpedo out again, and then T Knight kind of finishes it off. So there you guys go, Captain Caviar absolutely destroying the enemies super, super quick right there. Alright guys, so this one is going to be more of a frost comp here with Icicle Yeti and Fettuccine with the Snow Sugar. Uh, so here we go. Alright guys, so here we go. Our uh, Fro Jellyfish, Rebel, Captain Caviar should be able to revive right here. There you go. And boom. Yep. And there you go. So that's the perfect scenario once again uh, with the Captain Caviar dying. You kind of... It was a little bit, uh, you know, close of Rebel taking the uh, Feather Revive as well. Uh, so definitely helps out to uh, have Captain Caviar Revive uh, to do the extra damage. And of course, you know, uh, in certain cases too, if uh, anything, Captain Caviar, uh, if your Captain Caviar is going to have like a l higher ascension or promotion, uh, you know, getting Rebel up a little bit in the promotion might help out to uh, make sure that, you know, your Captain Caviar is the one to actually survive and then of course if you can get you know uh, some extra like damage resist if possible and your rebel is constantly dying first then that also helps out too all right guys so i'm going up against some guildmates here uh they're gonna have pep uh fettuccine financier as well as icicle yeti uh so here we go all right so here we go guys so here we go our frill jellyfish rebel and then captain caviar so most likely captain caviar Ooh, this time around uh, Rebel actually took uh, the revive, but not a problem here still. It seems like uh, we will we'll, we'll be okay here. Uh, so, oh, that Icicle Yeti kind of tanking some of the damage here. Uh, but there you guys go. Uh, so, you know, close one there too, but our Black Pearl as well as T Knight survived. Uh, and we're able to do the damage, but still, Captain Caviar just doing so much damage right there, guys. Alright guys, so here we go. This one is going to be a creme brulee comp here with uh, fin uh, Financier as well as Parfait. So here we go. This is another battle with a guild member here. So here we go. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. So Rebel, we got our Captain Caviar. Uh, so the Captain Caviar Feather Pop and boom, they're all gone. And, uh, you know, it's just the creme brulee alive. Uh, definitely a little bit harder to kill because of all the buffs, but... Sooner or later, the buffs will uh, disappear here. All right, here we go. And last one, boom. Kind of close, all right? Uh, kind of close with all the buffs uh, just staying on Cranberry for a while. Uh, but our team that is there to finish the job, all right? So there you guys go, all right? Uh, definitely these two, uh, you know, putting that buff onto the Cranberry kind of hurts. Uh, but Captain Caviar kind of just doing the damage and then T-Knight just finishing it off. All right, guys, so shout out to Pompon Lin once again for sharing the comp on YouTube. I will put the link down in the description again, uh, but definitely a comp that you guys can uh, try out. Um, I mean, we have already had Black Pearl, Furl Jellyfish, and T-Knight as a one-shot comp before. Uh, we had Captain Caviar way back, all right? Uh, it's been quite a while now uh being part of the one shot comp now rebel is also uh a cookie that is being used for the red velvet dragon uh so they're all cookies that has been used or is being used currently uh so for those captain caviar uh you know lovers out there 
uh, especially now with the magic candy, you can try out a new one-shot comp, and one-shot comps are back with Rebel and Captain Caviar. So again, thank you Pompalin for sharing the comp, and uh, hope you guys uh, are able to climb with this particular comp as well, along with the uh, Financier Crème Brûlée comp uh, that I've shared before previously. All right, uh, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you guys all on the next one.